Hi there, Cancer. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to do your love reading for August 1st to the 15th. This is for the sign of Cancer. Love reading. Thank you to all of my subscribers, watchers, commenters, bookings, and um, donations. I appreciate that. If you'd like to book a private reading, please send me an email. You can find uh, you can find that right by my you know YouTube cover page down in the corner. There should be a a thing, a little icon. This is for Cancer. What do you have for the sign of Cancer for August first to the fifteenth regarding love? Now I just I forget to tell people the peep the signs that give me the most love tend to go first. Okay, they tend to go first in my next segment. It just so happens I'm interested in a cancer, so that got bumped to the top of the list. A commitment. Imagine that. Beautiful. You've been going through a hard time, Cancer. I know that you have been. You know, you've been going through a really hard time. Um, but I think the worst is over, okay? The worst is over, and now it's time to start back over again. You, you, you're pulling out your um, inner strength, and you're starting to heal, all right? Um, starting to love yourself more again. Um, after a time of tension, I know that there was tension towards the end of July and I think that that it's over now I think it's over now and perhaps you're starting to feel a little bit more content at the beginning of the month the beginning of August I'm a little bit more at peace okay um, but I think you're still feeling insecure you know you're still feeling insecure and you're still worried all of a sudden I mean you're, you're worried and I don't know why you really don't have anything to worry about as far as finances go that has nothing to worry about or you're your security with another person. There's absolutely nothing to worry about. Um, I mean, look, you are going to have a lot of love in the future. You are. A lot of love is on the horizon. Um, and it's... This right here, this Seven of Wands, is, there's light finally at the end of the tunnel, okay? You can finally, it's, there's finally, it's finally happening, okay? You are, the worst is over, it is behind you, okay? The worst is behind you, it is. Now it's time to follow your path, okay? It's time to bring yourself back, it's time to, um... Or you are seeing the you are seeing the situation completely clearly now. There's no more confusion. I think that you you may be deciding. You know, you're really going to start to follow your intuition by, you know, the the end of the first week of August. You're going to start to follow your intuition, um, in your inner knowing a little bit more. I think that all of the all of a sudden. Um, where there was darkness, we are starting to see some, some sunshine, okay? So it goes from darkness to sunshine, which is great, great, okay? Um, probably your confidence and your um, self-worth is starting to get better. Probably you are, um, 
you've picked yourself up quite nicely, put it that way. I think that, you know, you went through a dark time and now you're starting to come right out of it. Come right out of it because I think there is some love being offered to you, Cancer. There's some love, a lot of love being offered to you. Um, and maybe you're starting to see it. Maybe you're starting to see the end of the tunnel where there's, you know, there is more on the other side. There's more down. There's more. I'm sure there is. Starting to listen to yourself. Starting to pay attention to your thoughts. Seriously. And give, giving them real consideration. All right, if you have a magnetic pull towards somebody that is so deep and you cannot ignore it, you may decide to, you know, you're going to listen to it. That's an example. Listening to your inner knowing is what I'm trying to say. Perhaps this connection that you've been having in your head with whoever it is is a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Perhaps they've been, you guys have been, um, you know, that's who you've been thinking about, I think. And, um, but you've just gotten over a breakup or something, or you're, just, you're still hurt over a past breakup um, because you are so deeply <coughs> emotional. You are so deeply connected. Um, when you love, you love, and you offer true love, okay? you When you love, you love, and you love deeply, all right? So, you know, I think that the universe has something in store for you regarding love, okay? Like I said, there is light at the end of the tunnel, believe it or not, because new love is coming and the universe is going to help you to see that. They are. They're going to, something is going to happen that um, is universally driven, okay? It is, and it's going to cause you to act. It's going to cause you to um, get your power back, you know, get your um, groove per se, you know, to get back into the groove of things and, you know, on the search for love. Something is going to happen. Maybe it's just an awakening of some sort giving to you from the universe. Either way, you don't know what it is. Something is going to happen. Like, there's going to be a shift and it's going to happen like, boom, okay? And you decide, okay, there is light at the end of the tunnel. I feel good again. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go find this. I'm going to, I have some, I know there's more love to be had. And there is. So you decide to act. All right. Um, and perhaps you're going to leave the past hurt behind. You're just going to walk away from it and let it go and head towards this Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Could be any other sign. Somebody who acts like that. Somebody who is. Um, very bright you know somebody who is very bright they shine brightly they are wise steady um confident um they're a leader they're practical they're loyal um and i think that's who you've been thinking about i think that 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 they have been in your head all right but you've been going through a, a, t a bad time okay There's just been too much tension in your life. That's all there is to it. But I think that now there's going to be a big shift where that's going to change and you're not going to concentrate so much on the past. You're going to move towards the future. You're going to start thinking about the future. Ain't that a beauty that jumped out? Eight of Pentacles. Yes. You're concentrating. This is what I was thinking when I was just talking now, concentrating on work. You have been concentrating on work, 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 work. 
And perhaps that's why, you know, love has been down here and work's been up here. But the this is where the universe comes in and says they're going to, whoo, they're going to shift. It's going to be a shift and you might decide, okay, you know, I'm going to concentrate on love now. August 1st to the 15th. This is a new welling of emotion. Is somebody talking to you in your dreams? What are your dreams telling you? Act now. Take your power back. This is what, is it, what it is. Take your power back. Mind, body, and spirit. You are one. You are complete. Be complete again. Be complete. Act now. Look at, Looking towards this Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. What are you waiting for? There is light at the end of the tunnel. And it offers a lot of love. Okay? Follow your intuition. Follow your gut. You know who this person is. You do know who this person is. Don't be afraid that you're going to disappoint them. You will not disappoint them. There's no way that in hell that you will disappoint them. No. Nope. True love. Look at you right here down at the end. You're not going to disappoint this person, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. You have a lot to offer. And they, they're not looking for your money. Uh-uh. Nope. They have their own. They take care of themselves. They're looking for love. Look at that. Justice. Do the right thing. It's about doing the right thing for you. Coming together. Making something final. No opposition okay it's a it is I mean it's beautiful it really is doing the right thing it's something finally happening that was meant to be um, it's karma all right this is very karmic you ha there was going to be a lot of sexual energy with this person. There's going to be a lot of um, spiritual talking, per se, with this person. You guys are going to be very, very, very connected. Um, And this, this card, Justice, is saying that it's time for you to do the right thing, Cancer. And you know what that right thing is. Do not be scared. Don't be scared. Do the right thing. If there was something in the past that you're worried about, you know, if there's something in the past that you're worried about that could, you know, hinder this or, or something, just do the right thing. It's not going to hinder it. It's not. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with your feelings. This is about a cycle becoming complete. That's what justice says, you know, when the judge makes the decision that's what this is it's about a cycle or a part of your life that is karmic that is meant to be all right a decision now it's time for some kind a new karmic debt to be paid okay that's what this is it's time The magnetic con uh, attraction with this person, and what I see is a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, is big, okay? It's out of this world, okay? It's unstoppable, uncontrollable. Um, 
it's almost like you are so connected to this person and I think you've been communicating with them I think that you've been communicating with them through your thoughts I do um, because the pull is so so deep and it is love it really is um, and then this also says about um, this is about your choices money or love because it's right here with money and love and doing the right thing okay it's about right here with doing the right thing money love do the right thing okay money is more of a devilish trait per se you know what I'm saying okay so it's about this is about taking back control like you've been told I think already it's time for you to take back control um, and there's gonna be a shift there's gonna be a shift that's going to um, I think it's gonna shift you towards love rather than materialism rather than focusing on your job okay I think it's gonna you know what I mean? That's what I think is going to happen. And I think that, that the magnetic pull is out of this world. And I just noticed this pentacles on his head. Okay, money is the root, root of all evil. It really is. Money is the root of all evil. And that's a big message for you. Not that, you know, you need to have money to survive and whatever all that you do and to take care of yourself and to live comfortably and all that but where does love come into play where does love come into play love this should be on top it should be on top because you will thrive even more if this is on top if the love is on top of the money you will thrive even more I swear to God do the right thing okay do the right thing the right thing for everybody involved Maybe it's time to step up to the plate. Um, yeah, you take that however you want to. We're going to get some clarifiers. Going to be a sexual attraction, that's for damn sure. Somebody that you are deeply connected to. Deeply, 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 deeply. You went through a period where, you know, you learned a lot. You learned a lot in the, the month of July, you know, and there was a lot of pain and hurt and lessons. And, you know, you go through a period of sorrow and all of a sudden there's a shift where you decide, and you were, you were hounding on your work to bury your sorry, sorrow, you know, that's what was going on. You know, you like you focused on work to, bear, to bury your sorrow and, that, and then the, all of a sudden the universe says, okay. It's over. The worst is over. You know, you've hit the rock bottom. It's time to step back up and take your power back and love yourself again and, and put love back on top. They're going to help you with this. They're going to send you an attraction that you cannot walk away from. And it's probably with a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. This is the person from the past. Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius could be any sign that acts like this person. Okay, this person is very different. That's who caused you this hurt. Caused you to go block it, block everything out. Okay. Um, just difficult. Here's your person from the past. I knew it. I knew it. Somebody from the past. This is who you're thinking about. Somebody from the past. It could have something to do with children. Perhaps you're scared because of a child. You know, don't be. It can be worked through. We can work this out. You know, you can work it out. You can work it out. 
could be somebody from your childhood, you know, that you've been thinking about a lot, and the like the pull. You've been, I think you, you know, you're the community. You're very spiritually. You're very spiritual. Okay, so I think the communication has been there, and um, somebody from the past. Okay, I think it's somebody from a childhood, or children are affecting um, your decision. There's not going to be any catastrophes, even though this tower card is here. There's not going to, with the child, you know what I mean? There's not going to be, there's, everything is going to be absolutely fine. If there's a child, this is going to resonate for several people. You know, some people may only get some of it and not all of it, you know. I think this uh, this can, means in a big way that somebody from your past is coming back, probably from your childhood or somebody that you dated years and years and years ago, you know, and there could have even been a child then, you know, <laughs> and you may be worried because, you know, that's that's a problem, but it's not a problem. It's That's what you think. You think it's a problem, but it's not. Do the right thing. That's what this card says. That's what justice is. When you go in front of a judge, you better be telling the truth. Do the right thing. There you go. <laughs> Just reiterated what I was saying. Mental clarity, truth, justice, fortitude. Okay? Mental clarity. Justice, right over the justice card. Do the right thing. It's a clear thinking. I've got this. I'm strong. I can handle anything. I am going to go for this because I can handle anything. Mental clarity with this Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Clear. You clearly have the correct thoughts in your head and you can clearly express them and do the right thing from the person from the past that you have a magnetic attraction to that could lead to true love. If you want to give it the time. Let's get a couple of these romance cards just for the heck of it. August 1st through the 15th. I think the year over this other one up here. That's gone. It's over with. Done. Caused you some grief and some hurt and some... Whew, fear. You have to make the effort. See, too much time. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Yes. Where's that? When's that shift going to happen anyway? Well, this is reading is for August 1st to the 15th. Are you going to let it happen? You're going to roll with it? I think you are because you're ready. Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. If you are so magnetically drawn to somebody that you cannot stop thinking about them, you need to make the effort. You need to take a stand. You need to do the right thing. <laughs> Release your ex. What I, what, this fear that you've been going through, you know, this bad, bad time in July where it's like, oh my God, you were being tormented and... It was nuts, okay? Release them. The time has come to clear your energy, and that means mentally. That's when the shift happens. You decide to let them go. You're like, boom, done, gone. I'm moving on. This is a problem. You are constant. You have buried your thoughts and hurt and fear in your job. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. You don't have any financial issues really, but you have buried yourself to get through all this. You're about to be a whole lot more emotionally balanced, okay? You are. Things are looking up. 
New love is on the horizon, possibly with somebody from the past. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Um, I think you're about to go through a very big shift where you start to see the light. You know, you start to see hope at the end of the tunnel, the light at the end of the tunnel, that there is love out there and that this the feelings and thoughts that you have been having are real and you might act on them. I think you are going to act on them. That magician says you are going to act on them. In the name of love. <laughs> Whoa. Did I just get, didn't tell any of this? <laughs> I did. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. No doubt about it. And on the bottom of the deck. This could be the one. You've already met the romance, the romantic partner you seek. Absolutely you have. So Cancer, August 1st or the 15th, I think that you are going to go through a shift where you decide to open up and you decide to follow your heart and you decide to release your ex and make an effort and, you, and follow the light towards somebody from the past. That's what I see. I wish you the very best. Um, thank you for watching me. Um, and I love you. <laughs>